Oh no, he rolled her up. Okay, you guys, this is Callie. She is a horse that was used for lessons. They did say that she is started over fences. Okay, y'all have fun checking the donkeys. Say hi to Campancho for us. My, my daughter can't say Prince Charles, so we say, Tinley, what's your donkey's name, Prince Charles? Yeah. So, Charlie, tell him how she says it. We go, Prince Charles and Tinley. Kampancho! It's kind of like the little girl that you're like ice cream and she's like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. We don't know. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> That's Tinley. Prince? Prince. Charles. Charles. Prince Charles. Kampancho! <laughs> so this is Callie. Callie is super nice. Um, they told us that she is a lesson mare that, okay, so I, I figured the whole story out. Went ahead and made some calls this morning. Okay, so there was a man in South Florida. He opened a barn and his niece was training out of this barn. She was giving lessons. She ended up meeting a guy, got married, and they moved to New York. And then he sold the lesson facility. And these horses were still at the lesson facility but turned out. And he went out and basically saw that the people that he was paying to keep them that bought the facility from him were not taking care of them and he thought it would be better to just sell them than to let them stand out there and look like this. Um, look a bit shivily. I don't know what that, look a bitty shivily, a lesson horse. Oh, I thought it was somebody from like Great Britain and that was one of their, you know, sometimes they'll be like, do you have your knackers on? And I'm like, I don't know what a knacker is. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so sorry. Um, so this is, yeah, no schmuckin' pancakes. So, anyway, this mare is, like, awesome. She's dead dog gentle. Charlie tied her to the trailer along with the other one, saddled them. They are like little war horses. They've not set back. They've done nothing. You want to go ahead and ride her down and then... What is it? He's loving the hay bale. Our horse is true loving the hay bale. So is this mare sound? So this is what I can tell you. He told us that none of these horses had ever had any lameness issues when they were under work, but they have been turned out for a year. And aside from maybe some thrush and abscess, something of that nature, these horses should not be considered unsound. So if you see something, you see something. But we were told that they are sound. We were told that Callie here is amazing for beginners. Um, even youth that we were told that Callie is one that a beginner youth or adult could ride. She's big enough to pack an adult, but kind enough for a child. She does not take advantage. She doesn't pull on your hands. Um, and these horses have not been ridden in one year. So if they have a hole in them or a problem, we're probably going to see it because they've set for a year. So Callie is supposed to be about 12 years old, we were told. So this is a 12-year-old, 16-hand tall lesson horse. We were told that they have a little bit of thrush, obviously. Their teeth are not in the best shape, but they were sold to us as sound horses that could go back into a lesson program with a little bit of TLC, just weight and teeth. She is 16 hands. And we were told that she is lightly started over fences, that she's very brave. They had a lot of great things to say about this mare. They kind of talked her up like she's the best one of the group. Yeah, she does not pull on you. She doesn't try to, um, you know, tug on you or, or extend your arms. I mean, she's really good and she would work for a youth. Uh-oh. Oh, Prince Charles, you know how he is, straight up to the gate, like... My daughter's donkey is a, and she does trail ride. Yes, she absolutely does trail ride. This is Callie. She's a 12 year old English lesson horse is started over fences. They said she picks up both leads um, and that she does flying lead changes has been started over fences and is suitable for a child. You can give lessons to kids on this mare. She is very kind with her mouth. She never pulls on their hands. She never tries to unseat them. That she is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful kids beginner lesson horse. So they told us 
This is the real deal for those of you who need a horse for children. You don't have to whip her or pedal her. She'll lope off. She'll keep the same pace. She doesn't speed up. She doesn't slow down. She's a freaking gem of a lesson horse. She's 12 years old. Her name is Callie, and she plows 1,750 acres. Good girl, mama. Um, Leslie, the, if you will rewatch this bit video from the beginning, the story of how we received them is from the beginning. Um, a man built a lesson facility, a farm in South Florida. His niece was running it. She got married and moved to New York. He sold the facility and these horses had been turned out there, um, for a couple of months with the new owner of the facility who was not taking care of them, but, but they were taking, um, they were taking his money, but they weren't caring for them. So he got discouraged with how bad the horses looked, and he took them to an auction. Um, 1,750 acres, and she's absolutely suitable for a youth or a beginner. We were told any adult could ride her and any child could ride her. We were told that they guarantee her sound. They also guaranteed that she picks up both leads and does flying lead changes and that the mare is absolutely like lesson horse of the year you can put children you can put adults you can put anybody if you send her off in a lope she will stay at the same pace she doesn't speed up she doesn't slow down you don't have to pedal her children don't have to whip her to keep her moving she doesn't take advantage of children and we were told that she's very brave she's lightly started over fences and that she has been trail road extensively all over the Florida trails and that she's a big brave mare. So Callie is kind of the real deal and anybody would be proud to own this mare. So if you have a lesson facility and you kind of wanted to buy a rescue that you and your students, look at this, across the big water. She's like, yep, I can do it. Look at her, good girl, mama. Look at that, she just put her head down. There you go, good girl, mama. Um, so the way that we, Rochelle, um, if you see horses on here, after each horse, I will update the list in Messenger. If you message me after a couple of horses, there will be an automated list that will have their name along with their, um, we call it how many acres they plow. You would probably call it price. So when you hear me talk about how many acres they plow, that is um, code. That's a code. That's a code for how much. And don't forget, you guys, you can buy stars and donate stars to each video. Those stars um, come to our bank account after a couple of weeks, and we use those for um, antibiotics, for stitches, for horses that colic. We don't own the horses here. Um, Jacob's family does. And I mean, I own my personal horses here, but I allow them to come to my facility and we basically evaluate them. If they sell, great. If they don't, unfortunately, they go back to. Um, Unfortunately, they go back to go to slaughter. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie, that's not, that's not nice. Okay, so this is Callie. She is a 12-year-old lesson horse. Um, she plows 1,750 acres, and she came to us guaranteed sound and youth suitable. And next, we will do her friend who is tied to the trailer. Okay, Callie, good girl.